You've also, uh, Dr. Guleria, recently said that we need to focus on uh, the lessons that we may have learned in the past and the possible third wave. I keep insisting on that, but uh, I just feel that if there is the possibility of this third wave, what, according to you, are the biggest lessons that we need to learn? So I think there is a lot of learning that we've had over the last one and a half year. Some of it is, of course, for the medical community in terms of treating patients and how best to provide care. But the biggest lesson that we've learned, I think, is between the first and the second wave. And that is what will really help us to prevent subsequent waves. What can we do right, which we didn't do right in the past? And I think two or three things. One, of course, is the importance of COVID-appropriate behavior. Because no matter what be the variants that emerge, no matter what be the new mutants that we see, if we are able to maintain physical distance, if we are able to um, wear our masks properly, and if we are able to wash our hands and prevent crowds from forming and therefore not, not have super spreading events, then we will not allow the virus to spread. This is a virus which has human to human transmission. One person gives it to the other. There's no other way that it can spread. If we understand the importance of this, and really follow COVID appropriate behavior. Come forward and get vaccinated so that the more the people who are vaccinated, the more the number that get vaccinated, the less the chance of transmission, the less the chance of viral replication, and the less the chance of mutants developing, we will actually be able to come out of this pandemic. We will be able to have a very minimal or uh, delayed third wave. And this is what we need to do.